Um, I remember a little girl who every time, she was like 10 years old, every time the prayer time came in, she would just sit there while all her friends got up to pray. This girl would just sit there. And I used to notice that and wonder about it. But finally, one day, I just asked the mom. I said, I notice so-and-so never gets up to pray when all her friends are praying. And she said, you know, I don't want to force my daughter to pray. She's only 10 years old. So I don't want to force religion on her. She sees that I pray. So when the time comes, she'll pray. So I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know if that was right or wrong. I myself was still trying to figure out how to teach my kids prayer, to be regular with prayer. But then a couple of days later, the mom called me and she said, you know, Hina, it's interesting. After our conversation, that kind of sparked something in me. And I sat my daughter down and I said, honey, you're coming of age now. Prayer needs to be a priority for you. So I really think now that you're 10 years old, you need to take on one prayer, decide which prayer you want to do, and then keep it. From now on, do that prayer. And after six months, you should take on a second prayer. And then after you've done two prayers for, you know, one year, then you should take on a third prayer. So that basically by the age of, end of age 11, you're doing all five prayers regularly. So they had this conversation. She said, you won't believe it. The next day at Fajr, she said, my daughter was the one who came and woke me up. She said, the whole time I'd been talking to her, she'd been listening really attentively. She said, my daughter was the one who came and woke me up, gave me the janamas, gave me my thesbi. And she said, what I realized is that she was just waiting for me to talk to her about it. Just assuming that she's going to get the message wasn't enough. I had to actually tell her what my expectations are of her. So that's really important to remember that you have to be willing to push your kids out of their comfort zone.